Things that I've learnt this week in real life and from the internet. The first one is leading cattle. So, actually not just this week, but it's been an ongoing process. Because I, when I was working alone, all I would do was fucking drive the cattle with me dogs in the buggy. But starting to work with people again, I've been leading the cattle more. And I went to uh, um, Neil McDonald school and in the yards you can kind of turn your body from side to side to create movement as the, as the lead because it's such a small, not many cattle, such a small area. And I took that concept and then I tried to apply it to the paddock and it did not fucking, like, I... It doesn't work because the cattle think that you're blocking them. Here's me thinking that because I want to... That was another thing. I was so set on staying really close to them because I thought if I got too far away, the cattle wouldn't engage with me and they wouldn't want to walk off and lead. So And also, if you've got young dogs, they'll cross and they'll insult your lead kind of thing. So I was in the mentality of movement creates movement and stay as close as I could to the lead while also moving. So I was doing some funky shit in order to do that, which was wrong, realistically. And then it, com- then it comes down to maybe higher flight zone cattle and cattle that, that aren't as doughy. So our cattle are doughy as shit, so you can fuck around and kind of be really slow. Um, higher flight zone cattle, on the other hand, it's all right just to keep driving until they draw onto your movement, until they, like, until they feel comfortable to follow you. You, Um, yeah. And things on the internet that I've learnt this week are, um, that the skin, well, actually I already knew this, but it was a nice reminder, the skin is a barrier, and if it's functioning properly, it should be keeping the bacteria out and as soon as it's damaged that's when bacteria starts getting in and that's when you start getting like um this i'm not treating it like a protective barrier i'm fucking treating it like garbage so <clears throat> need to be very aware of the soaps i'm using and how dry my skin's getting and also how much i'm fucking touching it and fucking with it because I like the idea of it as a shield. And as soon as you put a little fucking... As soon as you crack that shield. Or as soon as you put an imperfection in it. It compromises the whole fucking thing. So I think that's a nice way of putting it. And if I can keep thinking that. I might have a win. Because this is mostly from nervous absent minding fucking picking. If you can see mostly worse on this side because I drive with my right hand and this fucking hand's free and I just absent-mindedly like fucking scratch and touch, eh? Um, yeah, that's all.